beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. Lord, we thank you. You are dependable. You are reliable. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise Sing it one more time as your testimony to him. We make miracle was keep a promise, keep light in the darkness. Hallelujah. Father, people call this year many names. But the name you gave us, you demonstrated that it was so. We thank you. We thank you. For us as a family, we have seen your hand, we have seen your majesty. You have multiplied us, you have increased us. Thank you for your grace. That is who you are, truly. That is who you are. not a man. That is who you are. Lord, you crown our year with goodness and we thank you. We thank you. For those of you who what we are doing seems strange, this is the secret behind the finger of God. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him. There is no level of intellect. There is no level of wisdom. There is no level of human science that is capable to do this. Father, we are not ashamed. Be glorified. Be glorified. Joshua Selman is nothing without your wisdom. Absolutely. 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 Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your word. Thank you because you are true, dependable, reliable, faithful. We return thanks. We return thanks for sparing our lives, for triumphing over death, 
over sickness and infirmity for turning the lives of people around thank you thank you for transforming millions around the world thank you for giving our teachings wings to move beyond the limitations of time thank you for the prevailing power of your word for access to the mysteries of the kingdom thank you for the anointing of the holy ghost thank you for wealth and prosperity thank you for the effectual walking of your grace thank you jesus 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 hallelujah you see our our generation is a very arrogant generation we are very embarrassed whenever the spotlight leaves us whether it is to god or to any other person we frown at it there is such a crave in our generation for power for honor for recognition so when times come like this when we all become ushers to bow before the king sometimes because of our little achievements here and there we pride ourselves into believing that it was a product of our wisdom but every wise man who knows god knows how weak a man is when you see god's result separate the man from the result this is the finger of god this is the finger of god this is the finger of god 45 nations of the world this is the finger of god light in the darkness that is who you are jesus thank you when you speak it is within your power to make it happen forgive us for our unbelief forgive us for thinking you are a man you are god the creator of the ends of the earth I wish I told you people to rehearse this song. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? The name above every other name.
bless you. Please be seated. Yes, he is able. Yes, he is able. Great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus. The name above every other name, what can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus. Master of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Let me encourage you tonight, believers. Whatever God tells you, He can do it. Believe me. Believe me. Don't mind what you see when He's speaking to you. Just take your eyes away and with childlike foolishness say, Lord, I believe. If God tells you, I am lifting you on the wings of eagles, say, Lord, I believe. Don't ask and say, who is my uncle? Uh -uh. I believe. I believe. This ministry is a testimony of what God can do when he finds men who can dare to believe him. Jesus, we give you the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's honor our worship team. Come on. Absolutely. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look, guys, I am so proud of you. You do not imagine. I was talking to a Jimmy and said, look, very soon, we're going to start our own record label. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll make it happen. And by the Spirit of God, it will bless the nations of the world. And you have the opportunity to go around the nations of the world and be a blessing to the body in the name of Jesus. Let's honor them one more time. Thank you. Manasseh is with us today. Bless him. The bishop is around. Hallelujah. Bless you, sir. Thank you so much. I want to welcome everyone. We'll be very brief tonight. We're going to pray. I want to start tonight. Um, I'm going to give us a very strong admonition which also doubles as an instruction so please be ready to write the lord put this in my heart to share with us it's been a wonderful year and god has been faithful but let me remind you that the year is not over like bishop david oyedeko will say he made the heavens and the earth in seven days i don't care whether it's prophetic seven days or real seven days my faith can agree on the one i want god to move on praise the lord whether it's a thousand years seven days i know that even if it is in one day it says as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a child he said have you ever heard this proverb that a woman will give birth in one day be pregnant in one day and give birth in one day that's god for you hallelujah i still believe that the best of the year for me is still to come i truly believe god has done things that I brought tears out of my eyes but I believe for myself that between now and December 31st I am yet to see the hand of God and so but I want to encourage us even as we begin to set the pace for 2018 if you will be there you can write <laughs> no gone are the days where people in in a false show of humility they said we don't know whether we can see tomorrow is a lie don't, don't let any man um bring that nonsense around your table no you can believe there are scriptures that authenticate the quality of your life the longevity of your life and the problem is that we come from environments that sociologically condition us to defeat Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you a few things that the Lord put in my heart to encourage us. Really, this is, this is what I'm here to do this night. And then a few other things that God will grant us grace to do. Now, most believers are not taught the relevance of a retreat. 
most Christians are not taught that a retreat is part and parcel of the spiritual growth process of a believer. We teach fasting, we teach prayer, but very few believers have been taught as a corporate doctrine, not just a time out away from people, but a retreat that you end and begin seasons in your life in the presence of God. It is risky to end and begin seasons in your life in the flesh. The most spiritual aspect of your life should be when seasons are ending and when seasons are beginning because that's when Satan gets at people. When the, when, when the seasons have been cleared up and you are moving, it's difficult for Satan to derail you. Are we together now? So it is very, very important. Every one of us must make sure that we use this one month that we're having and take out at least a few days for a quality retreat. Now, there are different kinds of retreats. We have a workers retreat as a ministry. There are all kinds of retreats. Families have their retreats. But this retreat I'm talking about is a retreat when you are ex exclusively alone with God not even husband and wife not even father and children no there are certain things God will never tell you in public there are certain things that you will only hear from God when you are alone with him are we together it is it is a very deep and simple spiritual mystery that guarantees victory many believers have not paid attention to it Retreats, very important. End of year retreats, very important. You must take out time. End of year retreat cannot be done in a few hours. That is laziness. You didn't have a retreat. You just had a quiet time. A retreat should be at least minimum two solid days. You can't spend one day. One day alone should be dedicated to Thanksgiving. Is God speaking to us? So every single one of us and those following online, we must take out time to have personal retreats. What are the activities that should happen in the retreats? Number one. Thanksgiving. Your end of year retreat is barren of God's power until you begin and lavishly communicate thanksgiving thanksgiving what we did here tonight is just a representation the same way you spend a night vigil praying and putting your needs you must thank God mention them one by one let me tell you I know this about God he never gets tired hearing people thank him Lord thank you thank you you gave me tea thank you last year it was without blue band you added blue band this year so you observed it you see that not lord you thank you for the food you gave me that's a careless thanksgiving father thank you last year it was tap water now you gave me bottled water thank you that means you are careful you are forgetting not his benefits when it comes to requests we are very meticulous lord give me one two three four then when it comes to thanksgiving we say lord even me i can't remember are you not god don't you know everything I, I just thank you for everything let's go to another prayer request and god says how selfish selfish when you thank god mention things one by one lord thank you I was on my way to Kaduna and the car wanted to capsize. You saved me. Thank you. And God said, ah, this happened January. He said, Lord, I didn't forget. You are too faithful for me to forget that event. He said, you remember this for me? Get ready for another dimension. Thanksgiving. Write it down. Thanksgiving. We must take out quality time to thank him. Number two. I'm teaching you how to maximize to set the pace to maximize your retreat what do you do during your personal retreat review your progress for the current year 2017 now that's what you do 
you sincerely, honestly, unashamedly review the year. And I'll dwell here a bit to help us understand. I want all of us to really understand these things. The second thing you do at a retreat is to review the year. And you don't just review the year carelessly. You break your review into six different units. Write it down. The first area is your spiritual life. You review your spiritual life. Review your passion for God. Review the illumination of the word that you have accessed. What do you know now that you did not know last year? What do you understand now that you did not understand last year? Review your character. Create a scale for it. Can I say I am improving? Not just in the knowledge of God. Am I useful to society? Am I becoming a leader? Am I becoming a person of character? So your spiritual life is the first area that you have to review. Let me tell you something about retreats. You must be honest. You see why you have to be alone? Excuse me. You must be honest. You must be unashamed. You must be very sincere before God. Number two, mental development and your capacity. You review that area. Did I cooperate with the word of God to develop my mind? Did I acquire useful informations that will set me on the cutting edge of relevance? Did I just pray and fast and build my life spiritually and allowed my mind and my relevance with my sociological environment to die? Are we together now? Yes, it matters that we not only grow spiritually, but we sustain the ability to be useful. We must be able to communicate the life of Christ to our environment. So you review it. What books did I read? What do I know about leadership? Did I learn anything? Did I build my mind? What do I know about mindsets? Am I still carrying my village in my head, moving around with it? Am I still carrying the attributes that keep me poor and a failure? Am I still carrying the attributes that make good things to live my life? Is God helping us? Number three, review how much you have taken care of your body, your health. In a retreat, yes sir. That's the best place so that you can easily ask for forgiveness when? Because the only person you really have offended is God. This body belongs to him. For some of us, 2017 has been a useful year spiritually and a careless one health-wise. Is that true? Review. Oh, this year, Lord, I apologize. I ate anyhow. I did all kinds of things. Anyhow, destroyed my body. Why do you make these reviews? Because you need this body to last very long. Are we together? Gone are the days when people don't talk about this in church and they tell people the most important thing is your spiritual life. And you see someone of 32 looking like 50. They ask him how old are you? He said I will be 33 next year. Say, so, so why are you looking at his condition make crayfish bed? No, you are not a crayfish. You are created in the image and the likeness of God. Some of those sayings, we must start getting them out of the body of Christ. They look very nice, but these are the things that authorize Satan to destroy our lives. Hallelujah. Your health. And some of us, it is not even poverty. It's carelessness. Write that word down. This is a word that you should look at very carefully during your retreat. Many people's lives are destroyed, including their health, because of one word carelessness unattentiveness to details hallelujah number four review your assignment the reason for which God brought you review your purpose your kingdom service these are things that you review at a time of retreat Lord, I look at the compass of my destiny. Did I make progress this year? Can I say 
from prophecy to manifestation i have moved forward you see this assignment and purpose thing you you, you hardly even hear it again people don't talk about it it says lo i come as it is written of me in the volume of the book to do your will the reason why many people have time to waste their life is because they are not occupied with purpose if purpose does not occupy you anybody can call you any day and say are you free sir yes come and follow me somewhere god designed your time to be well invested fulfilling your assignment this idleness that our generation has is because we are not occupied in purpose and then the recent um i would say trick of the devil is to make people busy but not moving forward motions like sitting on a rocking chair the chair is rocking consistently but you are not making progress oftentimes jesus would retreat and look okay i must be here i must be there your assignment your purpose I don't know my purpose but you can look at your service in the house of God use that as a template what was your level of commitment what was your level of diligence are we together very important this is what I do during my retreats number four the fourth area number what number five I beg your pardon your finance write it down your finances you have to flog it out in the secret place are we together now you've looked at your spiritual life mental transformation your body your health is that true and then your assignment then your finances we're very unapologetic about the usefulness of financial resources both in the quality of our lives and kingdom advance i'm not one of those pretentious people that would downplay the role of financial resources in helping an individual live a useful life i've shared it again and again with us that living to seek money all your life is a cost it's not just bad it's a cost it's one of the most distracting strategies of satan when a man spends all your life looking for money it's a cost nobody was ever designed to do that what time then do you have in building this chase for money has made us to leave our children to the hands of satan has made us to leave our purpose there are people called as prophets and apostles but they only realize one week to their death they spent their whole life chasing money and they never find it please let me say it again and again do not ever plan to continue pursuing money all your life there is an exact time where god should help you put together financial resources that afford you the opportunity to serve god so that you can turn and focus on the more useful things making financial pursuit priority in your life forever is a cause it may be within the time you are seeking that's all right so this is very important review because for some of us our whole lives is built around money money and we never get it you talk two minutes money everything money you say jesus the person replies back with money 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 every time you have to review is that true Was I able to engage the keys that bring for wealth and abundance this year? Or I just had it and it didn't work? You will easily know whether you engage it by the results you got. Finance is one area where your disobedience shows immediately. Immediately. So you must be sincere. This year, God gave me one million naira. God gave me hundred thousand naira. What did I do with it? I made a mistake i gave hundred thousand naira to four one niners you don't jump that what is the lesson that i have to learn there is that true god gave me two hundred thousand i bought a shoe and i bought a shirt that is not yet my level to prove a point to people who are not interested oh lord forgive me don't say it's all right ask for forgiveness because that is sin 
Is that true? When God gives you resources and you waste it, if nobody has told you it is sin, believe me. Lord, I gave you offering of 1010 10 Naira. I gave you offering of 2020 20 Naira. But my average dinner was 2000 Naira. It's a sign that you are not a serious believer. I know you think, I'm not talking about money. You know that God has helped us. But it's important. These are some of the things that you do during your retreat. A measure of your passion for the house of God. And that includes with your resources. All this 1010 10 Naira giving. You know, most times we lie to ourselves that it doesn't matter. The amount does not matter. Are we not Bible students? He that soweth sparingly. What is sparingly? Small, scanty. Shall reap, but he shall reap scanty. That's why you get one testimony in four months. Correct? You are reaping. But he that soweth bountifully, lavishly, extravagantly. He said he will reap. The Bible said that scriptures cannot be broken. So don't say that it does not matter. It could be a time for you. I remember it was in one of my retreats, honestly speaking, that the Lord challenged me on this. The level of giving was far less than the level of God's blessing on my life. And the Lord rebuked me. And I made up my mind and I made a vow. There is a minimum amount I will never give as offering again forever till Jesus comes. Yes, it's true. It's true. It's true. So review it. What do you understand about finances? Review it. If all you know about finances is business and job is better, you have to sit down and flog that area. Because neither of them in themselves will give you money. Number six, relationships. The sixth area that you will look at in your retreat is your relationships. Marital relationships, career relationships, business relationships, destiny relationships. Some of us almost wasted our year today because of the presence of bad and useless associations. Associations that should have nothing, nothing to do with our lives. It's all this, uh, it's our tribe, it's our church, it's our this. Is that true? The Bible says, he that works with the wise will be wise. But it says the companion of fools will be destroyed. Relationships, it matters. Review them. Review them. Who did you give access to this year? Whose presence destroyed your productivity? Who did you give access to this year that destroyed your potential for more results? Who should you have given access to this year that would have improved your life? Some of you, your relationship here, you even need to go back and check with the Holy Spirit. What degree of access did you give him? Relationships. Now, when you review these six areas, let me be honest with you. Your entire life revolves around these six areas. Your spiritual life, your mental development, your health and physical well-being. Is that true? Your assignment, your career, whatever it is, your financial resources and your relationships. There is no man that will ever be a failure if he excels in this area. Usually what I do is that I scale all six areas and look at the best performing area and the worst performing area. And I must answer why. I wouldn't just say I will improve. Why? Why was this the best? And why was this the worst? If your relationships, for inside, for instance, was the worst this year, what don't I know about friendship? What have I not learned? Maybe I'm neglecting honor. Maybe I'm not valuable enough. Maybe I'm too much of a talkative. Maybe I'm not somebody who can be committed secret. Maybe I'm somebody who is not friendly. Maybe I'm someone who is jealous. Lord, help me. You write it down. Are you seeing how people grow in retreat? You never come out of that experience the same. No, sir. People 
people jump into the new year and laugh and fast for 10 days or 21 days and become the same old them again and you see the bible says you never put new wine in an old wine skin if your wine skin is old nothing new will ever come you will have to replace that wine skin like a snake molting shedding off the old skin so that there can be room for expansion he said go and borrow vessels borrow the wine skin borrow not a few and the more the wine skin the more capacity city for the anointing to function is that true you must take out time so this is the second thing you do the first thing let's review thanksgiving thanksgiving then the second thing you do is a review of the year i gave you six aspects of your review the third thing is that you must plan for 2018 plan for 2018 I'll tell you how to plan shortly. Please write this. It's very important. Plan for 2018. It's amazing how many people don't plan. They think just because they are writing what they would do, they think that's planning. That's not planning. Many times those things are just wishes because at the end of the year, less than 1% of them ever happen. That's not a goal. How do you plan? Set clear goals in these six areas we just reviewed set clear goals with scriptural backings in each of them i am convinced that if you set a goal in any of these six areas and it doesn't have a scriptural backing it will not come to pass because there is no basis for committing god remember your success is based on your partnership you are not going to plan alone for by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you must plan and add a scriptural backing that means a spiritual basis for committing god in those areas and then you must add time targets to them every day is not conducive for everything no sir when you buy a product if we pick up this bottle of water you will see there's a little inscription there the manufacturing date and then they write something best before in other words to get the best of this pro this product it should be consumed within this time range putting time target to your goals puts a healthy pressure on you to be able to achieve them the reason why i believe that a lot of us have defaulted on our goals is because there is no time allocation so we make it look like every day is conducive no sir if you build a house at 70 years it's not a testimony if you finish school at 60 years it's not a testimony is that true if a woman gives birth to her first child at 60 years is an unusual testimony it's because it's not supposed to be so is that true if god blesses you at 80 years who are you going to leave it for you will be angry and be frustrated so there are things that we must trust god to help us fast track in our life say amen and let me come to the gentleman and just talk to us a little please plan turn to any brother seated near you and say brother plan just leave the sisters in one minute say brother plan listen spiritual people spiritual people are some of the poorest planners we have especially in this country we don't plan for our greatness we just hope and wish and pray bishop oyedeko said praying without planning is playing without knowing you have to be like nehemiah with one hand you are building but with another hand you are holding the sword both hands cannot hold the sword one hand is holding the sword and another hand is building he says every house is built by some man but god is the builder of all that some man must build the horse is prepared for battle but safety is of the lord but it does not stop you from preparing the horse are we together now i expect every gentleman here to start planning married or not sit down and plan here's what scripture says when i was a child i thought like a child correct i understood like a child i acted like a child he says now that i am a man i lay aside these childish things some of you that's what 
will happen in your retreat you have to sit down and tell yourself this childishness in my life must go forever comma this foolishness in my life must go forever this stupidity in my life must go forever somehow we have this belief that because god is able without our engaging him through the application of the wisdom of god things will just happen just like that we are tired of irresponsible fathers we are tired of irresponsible gentlemen we are tired of nuisances to society a gentleman who should be capable of feeding and taking care of his siblings and taking care of a generation is still depending on his old and aged parents blasting in tongues but depending there it should not be it should not be there is an honor that comes when certain things are in place in your life is that true i'm speaking to everybody but i'm speaking especially to our gentlemen please let's go back to god and plan this rat race of visiting everybody today you are here tomorrow you are there my brother what are you doing with your life you say it is well no it's not well you sit down and plan what are you doing with your life Oh, I want to marry Apostle Wonderful and eat what? Show me the blueprint of, of the, not the timetable of your cooking, the, the capability to be able to fend and take care of the family. Especially, do you know, because in Africa, let's be very honest, if I handpick everybody here, almost everybody here has at least four or five people depending to eat from him is that true leave the ladies gentlemen i'm talking to you i'm coming to the ladies pick anybody at random there is one neighbor one one cousin you know one relative that you didn't even know you are related to that needs you to feed so gone are the days where you say i have enough for myself no you must flog it out plan plan Plan. I will take the month of January to study only on finances. Even if they give you a message on rapture, you say, I'm born again. I have a goal. I'm studying on finances. I'm spending the month of February to study on faith. On faith. I'm studying the month of, uh, the month of March to study on the anointing. I'm studying the month of uh, June or April or whatever to study on my giftings and potentials. I'm spending the month of July to study on ministry or my assignment. That's how we grow. You don't get up every day and open to any part of scripture and just read and convince yourself that you are growing. You must plan. Are we together? By the grace of God, there, there is almost a message concerning every major area of your life. Go to the media stand. There are teachings. The media department can help you compartmentalize the teachings. If it is success, if it's your spiritual growth, character development, you know, salvation, etc. Whatever it is. There are teachings and they are all free. Camp with them. You must plan. Number four. The fourth thing that I want us to do by the grace of God is that all of us as a family of faith individually we are going to be studying the book of Proverbs. Write it down. We are going to be studying the book of Proverbs. All the 31 chapters. Study, not read. There's a difference between studying and reading. You can take two, two chapters and finish it in 15 days. You didn't study, you read. You glanced through let's use this break period to extensively study the book of proverbs go online there are all kinds of commentaries that have been done on that book study carefully don't read to finish read to understand the book of proverbs the lord put this in my heart was studying the fifth admonition which comes as an instruction is that every one of us as much as God has granted us the understanding 
have a sacrificial seed wrapped with expectation this is between you and god a sacrifice is not a seed a sacrifice is bread he said cast your bread upon the water he gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater but there are times he will challenge you to give both the bread and the seed a sacrificial seed i'm already doing mine and i'm doing it again and again it's a principle i have practiced for many years that at the end of the year into the next year they will, i will i will have to commit to something that cost me go to god and to the ministry every year without fail i do this i'm not talking of 10 naira 20 naira something that even you you will stand and say lord i give you thanks between you and God why are you doing that you are engaging the mystery of sacrifice and securing the year coming now please don't do it if you don't have the revelation this has nothing to do with trying to manipulate money and this is a mistake that men of God make when it comes to things like seeds and sacrifice you see them expressing a lot of desperation I, I always say this every man of God's success is not based on the giving of members it is based on his own obedience to the principles of the kingdom koinonia will only prosper to the degree to which we are complying with the precepts of the kingdom are we together these five things I promise you that when you do them you will be ready for an amazing 2018 number one thanksgiving number two review that number two for me is one of the most important you have to review don't just wait and say ah apostle send us the prophetic word for next year my body's shaking i need to know what is the prophetic word this is how a lot of people keep recycling carelessness again after again and and and, and then again and again and they find out that the year remains the same different words coming but there's no progress in our lives so go back get a notebook don't just get a little piece of paper it's a sign that you are not serious with your own destiny get a notebook and sit down and write these things out come up by the spirit one of the things i can guarantee you that will happen in your silence is that the holy spirit will speak to you he will correct you he will applaud you he will rebuke you he will encourage you he will challenge you let the chastening of the lord not be something that you resent whatever happens in that secret place embrace it as a refiner's fire it is going to be the key to your next level is that true praise god so you do this this is my first encouragement for us tonight these five things the lord put it in my heart and i felt to share with us to help us maximize our time Proverbs chapter 4. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're reading the first 10 verses. Proverbs chapter 4. Just to encourage us and then we'll pray. Proverbs chapter 4. Is it projected? Okay. Hear ye children the instructions of a father and attend to no understanding for i give you good doctrine forsake ye not my law solomon is teaching us here for i was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother he taught me also and said unto me let thy heart retain my words keep my commandments and leave verse 5 get wisdom get understanding forget it not neither decline from the words of my mouth verse 6 forsake her not who is the heart wisdom understanding forsake her not and she shall preserve thee take note the benefits of embracing wisdom and understanding she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee seven says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding verse eight says exalt her 
and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor who will bring you wisdom and understanding not just wisdom wisdom and understanding will bring you to honor when thou dost embrace her we are reading to verse 10 verse 9 she shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver unto you verse 10 hear O my son and receive my sayings and the years of thy life shall be many from preservation to honor to longevity wisdom and understanding wisdom is the capacity to understand the mind of Christ wisdom is the ability to communicate the scriptural solution concerning every issue of life the scriptural solution to every issue of life is called wisdom you are wise to the degree to which you comprehend the ability to profess scriptural solution there are cultural solutions to life's problems there are occultic solutions to life problems there are emotional solutions to life's problems none of them in themselves are able to provide lasting solutions but the wisdom of god the wisdom of god i have pursued the wisdom of god with my life because when I was exposed to my own folly and the fact that I am so limited and the consequences of foolishness the Bible says he that works with the wise shall be wise himself but he said just being the companion of a fool your destruction is guaranteed if as a companion of a fool you are destroyed then what happens to the fool just being a friend to a foolish man allowing his foolish decisions to influence you it guarantees doom for you that means every fool has no hope foolishness is bankruptcy of the knowledge of god's principles it's not just acting foolishly the foolish action is a product of bankruptcy in your spirit and in your mind I like us to carefully examine the decisions in our lives i want us to carefully examine the things that we do the degree to which you have succeeded is a show of how you have manifested the wisdom of god every time results are not produced in your life is because there was a default in the wisdom of god it's an uncomfortable truth but it's the secret to rising and pressing for wisdom i am ever ready to be shown by god the areas in my life where i am bankrupt of the wisdom of god it doesn't embarrass me i want to know i search for it like one who is looking for treasure if you do not contend for wisdom your life will be an unending circle of pain an unending circle of regrets an unending circle of many things most of us look at our lives this year and we can see several points in our lives where foolishness veered us off the path of glory and brought us into a lot of pain some of us lost destiny help us some of us lost the gift of men is that true some of us lost opportunities some of us lost access several things no wisdom some of us this year we approached our parents wrongly and right now there is a divide between us and our parents lack of wisdom some of us had zeal with no knowledge and it brought a lot of trouble to our businesses a lot of trouble to our ministries wisdom is very important the bible says it is the principal thing and you see, the Bible says, I commend you to the word of God. It says it's able to make you wise. The word of God makes men wise. Just by focusing your attention on the word of God and imbibing the principles 
the modus operandi of the kingdom it makes you wise the word of god teaches you how to relate with difficult people the word of god teaches you how to speak and when to speak so that you don't get into trouble the word of god teaches you how to respond to unbelievers many of us come from families where there is a mixture of people who are both of the faith and not of the faith wisdom teaches you how to communicate wisdom teaches you that when you are angry be silent because every time you speak you will speak in the flesh there are many people who just obeying this principle would have saved them businesses worth millions of naira they uttered words that they are still paying for it today are we together our challenges dr mike Murdock will say there is no money problem anywhere and i agree with him most of our challenges because you see we are victims of our understanding and most of the things we have executed in our lives are reflections of the limitations of our knowledge our wisdom our understanding guess what the bible says it says true wisdom a house is built then it says by understanding it is established the firmness of that house is a product of understanding it says true knowledge is the house filled with every pleasurable thing we must make up our minds that we are going to access the word of god not just as an instrument to heal us of the guilt of um spirituality i would say for many people our study of the word is just to so that the devil does not plant any seed in us that we are backsliding but we are not learning anything this is the greatest book that will help your career and your business this is the greatest book that will help your marriage this is the greatest book the sufferings in our world today is because we have ignored the truths that are here we have read it like a religious book we have read it to preach we have read it to to carry out bible studies and prayer sessions but we have not read it for the purpose of accessing wisdom for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom Choose the way of the Lord. Listen, there is no age you get to in life that guarantees that all your decisions will be flawlessly accurate. This is the book that coordinates our success. There is no educational height you get to that guarantees that your decision making process will be accurate even if you study psychology it is not enough to give you all the parameters that are needed in themselves to make wise decisions i have lost confidence in myself outside of the world it says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path in this wicked world listen this ministry by the grace of God was built on this word. I have meticulously built my life on this word. I don't trust any other thing that is not this word. I bring you a proposition tonight as we round up this year. I want you to return to a place where you hold an unquenchable hunger and value for the word. Many of us pray but our lives are bankrupt of wisdom our decisions show the absence of the influence of the word it's very clear that we are not being governed by the word i can know how much you have imbibed the word by the excellency and the quality of your communication i'm not talking of linguistic excellence i'm talking of the wisdom that flows from your words i see your behavior I see how you disappoint your enemy's expectations and I know you have stayed with the world. When you become a victim of people's expectations, wait and see. He's going to shout at this person. Ah, you come and shout. Ah, you have given yourself cheap to life. The word of God is not coordinating you. Jesus disappointed the expectations of the people many times for instance when they brought to him the woman who was caught in adultery they expected he was going to rant because they were talking about the word of god you know every time satan wants to challenge you he uses scripture 
Moses said this and Jesus kept quiet wisdom for there is a time to speak and there is a time to be silent there are times where your loudest communication is in your silence your silence will answer more than any word for instance when responding to your critic your critic already knows the truth don't try to explain it's a waste of time You don't respond to critics by verbal communication. You respond to critics by consistency. Consistency of your results. Is that true? When I look at our lives and I see our lives surrounded by pride and arrogance, it is because we have not seen the deception of pride. The deception of pride is like a man climbing a ladder and you take the ladder away that's exactly what pride does i love the word of god i stopped reading my bible to finish it i stopped reading my bible to crime scriptures i found out that it was truly a road map in this darkness darkness where there is deception how many of you have followed people's advices and their advices crashed you? Not because they were bad people, they were just humans. They advise you to beat your wife if she goes wrong. See, I tried it on my own wife. Look at how she's behaving now. You tried it on your own wife and that's when you, you, your prayer stopped being answered. That's the first thing that started happening to you and many other bad things happened to you. I can look at your life and know how much the word of God has prevailed by the quality of the results that you produce. You see, let me tell you something. If I look at your life and I see you are dirty and tattered, as simple as neatness, I know you don't have respect for the word of God. If the word of God can purge your spirit, then your life will reflect it. You cannot be growing in the world and you are dirty, unkept, looking like a thief all the time and say it does not matter. No, sir. No, sir. The word of God will make you to buy a iron because it will teach you that there is a way you appear before kings there is a way kings behave and the bible tells you that you have been made according to revelation chapter 5 and verse 10 we have been made unto god a kingdom of kings and priests so you speak like a king you act like a king is that true it is the word of God that is the antidote to these conflicts that our cultures create in our heads. Christian versus Hausa. Christian versus Yoruba. Christian versus Igbo. You don't know which one to embrace and which one to leave. I propose to you a culture that is above and superior to every other one. That any part of your culture that does not subscribe to the word of God, eject it immediately. The kingdom is a culture. Most of us, our lives have been destroyed because of our, our unfortunate loyalty to cultural tenets that are completely anti-Christ. So although uh, we are attempting again and again to be spiritual, but the, the thinkings that we have imbibed from culture continue to fight God in our lives. I have no loyalty to anything that is not of God. This is it. This is my new culture. Scripture tells me that I've been called out of every tribe. I'm not saying culture is bad in itself. But trust me. There are demonic and satanic areas. There are certain aspects of cultures that are not seen in themselves. But I tell you there are weights. A weight is something that can provide an impedance. It can stop your movement. It says my yoke is easy and my burden is light so when you are carrying a weight that is destroying your life in our place we don't do this in our place women cannot talk who is this woman preaching i can't listen to her because in our which your place who invented it oh god is speaking i will listen in our place young people don't talk to old people even respectfully even under the anointing are you seeing that now it is important that we recalibrate our minds so that we begin to view life from the perspective of the kingdom they drove children from coming to jesus 
something about their culture taught them that and jesus said, ah, 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 ah. let the little children come to me and do not forbid them he said for for such that means these children roaming around are teaching you a lesson you are not learning that until you become like one of these not childish but childlike very malleable in your faith and understanding he says the kingdom is for such are you getting blessed tonight get wisdom get understanding make a conscious decision that in the name of the lord jesus although i was born in so 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 place i was born under so 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 condition by the grace of god my children will not live under that kind of condition the lord by his spirit will lift me it's not about nazareth it's not about where you come from it's about your ability to walk with the word of god and bring that transformation hallelujah by the grace of god i have made it a personal commitment as a minister that i will never create seditions or favoritism based on geographic factors never never you will never see me do that i love my people wonderful people love my region where i come from but by the grace of God, I've traveled to every one of the regions of this nation and they love me unreservedly because I do not and will never, never try to create any sense of superiority of one culture above another. I love everyone. The Bible says there is neither male nor female, neither Jew nor Greek, bond nor free. We are all in Christ. So I cannot see, I can say IK is Igbo and say um, Pastor Alpha is from Kogi State, Promise is from Delta and I say you are my person, be careful. Those are the kinds of mindsets that rob us because your destiny helper will come as directed. It may not be from your place. Joseph of Arimathea. The Bible does not record that he was part of the disciples of Jesus. How about Simon of Cyrene? The people who played very major roles in the life of Jesus. Jesus was rejected by his own people. They ran away. Anna the prophetess. Simeon in the temple. Joseph of Arimathea. Look at the strange people who came and attended to him. Wisdom. There are ministries that have crashed into pieces because of lack of wisdom. They make it look like if you are this tribe, you are not welcome. If you are that tribe, you are not welcome. We must be careful because we are dealing with a global society. Part of the principles you learn when you study global leadership is that you must concentrate on the points of similarity. Concentrate on the points of similarity nobody will be comfortable in an atmosphere where their core values are being insulted simply because you are trying to demonstrate the superiority of another culture so we unify ourselves as believers with one common culture it's called the kingdom the kingdom is god's culture where we allow the influence and the reign of christ to permeate our lives regardless of our geographic differences ah. hello humanity thy kingdom come thy will be done hello the Bible that teaches us how to be wise financially it says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children so when you see a young man spending as if he would not marry you see that living a fake and a foolish life that's a selfish man because he's not thinking about his children and his children's children the Bible says it 
the Bible says there is he that scattereth. Hear the wisdom of God. There is he that scattereth and increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. That means there is a relationship between greed and lack. The Bible establishes it. So when there is lack in your life, you check and you see that there is scripture is fulfilled in your life. The Bible talks about tithing. That there is a relationship between the opening of your heavens and your tithing. Regardless of whatever opinions are available, scripture cannot be broken. It is by these two immutable things. God swore his word will not be broken. Heaven and earth will pass away, but brothers and sisters, men and their philosophies and their pride and their arrogance, nations and kingdoms will rise and fall. But the word of God remains consistent. One of the greatest fears, if I would say in my life, is to find out that at the end of my life, I believe they lie. I wasted my time following a man, following a philosophy, and then at the end, you will tell me, I'm sorry, me too, I'm as confused as you. I choose the word of God that liveth and abideth forever. This ministry is a tithing ministry. I'm a tithing person. There is no devil and no doctrine that will ever stop us. That's why there is no amount of recession. I say it with all humility. By the grace of God Almighty that is capable of limiting me as a person and limiting the work of God. For he said, I will build my church. And if you allow me to build it, I will build it in such a manner that the gates of hell will not prevail. This is the wisdom of God. I have learned from the wisdom of God that as a man of God, your assignment is to lift up Jesus, not yourself. This is the secret to crowd. You lift up yourself, you pay for it. He says, and I, if I be lifted, the reward for lifting me is mysteriously. I will draw all men, not some men, not some territories. When I found this, I said, Lord, I have no business building any empire. It is about Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords thank god for the honor but i'm so happy to let you know that the one who really deserves all the glory and all the honor is jesus the head of the church the builder of koinonia it came from the word i'm showing you things from the word i have found out in the word of god that when you honor the body of christ there are dimensions you enter it is it is the word of god that gave me that wisdom so i can insult a man because i do not like something about him yet he's carrying an anointing that can help me it is for this cause many are weak for this cause many are sick for this cause many do sleep there are many people who would have cheaply received miracles but the vessels that carry the anointing are not appealing to them the scripture says there is a treasure in earthen vessel he didn't tell you the vessel is golden he said the vessel is earthen so he can be angry like elijah or temperous like moses they still are anointed when i found out I don't have any problem with any man of God. You never hear me open my mouth and tear down a man and his ministry because I believe that there is always something I can learn. Even if I cannot learn spirituality, I can learn excellence. I can learn leadership. When you search for Jesus everywhere, you will find him. Hmm. I learned from this scripture that as a man, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I stopped wasting my time packaging a reality that is not here. Gone are the days where people try to buy suit, buy shoe with empty understanding and then their minds reduce their lives back. Have you seen territories like that? They try to do physical things. They have not educated the people in that environment. Then they make tap. In six months, they spoil the tap to look like the mindsets of those living in that environment. No sensitization. So I learned that the key to my lifting is not buying clothes, buying shoe, buying all these things to prove a point that I can wait with the Holy Spirit to reconstruct my understanding and that inevitably the things I so admire will helplessly run towards me. Oh my God, and how, how true. This is one of the truest revelations I know in scripture. The supernatural power of the transformed mind and its ability to effortlessly draw to your life 
the realities that are consistent with your understanding it is true are we together the wisdom of God tells you there is hope for a tree even it be cut short in our society where we are we are more than happy to conclude on people you look at someone and say this guy used to be an arm robber there's no hope for him but when you study the word of God the Bible is full of people that God transformed their lives overnight and my Bible says that rejected stone ha! that rejected stone I'm speaking to someone in your family and all the nonsense and rubbish that they say about people there are people who started this year with their pride of spirituality and right now they are not they are almost not even born again because their pride humbled them they maintain their spiritual lives by themselves but there are people who started this year saying lord if you are looking for any vessel can you use this drunkard and god said that's all i want come and right now as i speak to you they are in various stages around the world setting up place the kingdom of darkness because he uses the foolish things when you understand this you will never run your mouth at anybody and conclude on people you don't see a woman who is frying a car and look and say oh dear poor woman because god can pick someone you see the word of god makes men wise the way we speak sometimes shows that we have not read scripture whether it is a poor man a rich man I will hug you and greet you i won't say you you are this no 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 of course i will give you honor because god i have seen in my little life how god has transformed people overnight and made princes to be servants and servants to become princes if the baba of joseph knew he was babbing the prime minister he would have begged him and said sir don't forget me oh there were people of Bas and John lifted simply because they dared to advise him while he was in prison. When he came out, he sent for them, created one committee and dropped them there. He said, quit before I change the committee. And he said it very openly, not uh, anything in the hiding. I brought this person here because he was there for me. Wisdom. Wisdom teaches you to be there for people at their worst areas because they will never forget you. People will forget you when they, if, if, if I hold a banquet for plenty people, you hold that banquet as a king, so you forget everybody. But when someone comes to you in the cave of Adullam, you say, I will never forget you. Everybody ran away from me, but you stood there. One of the quickest way to be rich is find somebody rising. Find a vision rising. Be part of it with all diligence. That's a free ride to the wealthy place. I guarantee you. Some of our parents today know people that would have changed their life in a heartbeat. They are crying for rent. Whereas somebody that they would have helped with 50 naira 20 years ago would give them an estate today. The word of God making us wise. Making us wise. Making us wise. Making us wise. Hold your Bible in one minute. And I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, there is, there is wisdom in this scripture. There is wisdom in this scripture. There is wisdom in this scripture. I'm tired of foolishness in my life. Lord, I come to terms with the fact that my decisions are obviously showing a bankruptcy of the word of God. The quality of my decisions are a revelation that the wisdom of God is not at work in my life. The quality of my decisions, the quality of my results are questioning the efficacy of the word of God in my life. Are you praying? I'm not asking you whether you have been faithful with Bible study. I'm not asking you whether you have been faithful with your, your devotion or whatever it is. I am asking you, have you allowed the wisdom of God to influence your understanding? Do you live your life trading the mysteries of the kingdom? Or do you live your life guessing and hoping that at a point in your life things will change? It's risky to run your life by your own, your own formula. Hallelujah. Sit down. The wisdom of God. Come. The wisdom of God teaches us how to relate with people. Is that true? When, when you study the wisdom of God, 
the word of God, you will know that whoever wants friends will not sit down and say, call me, text me, be my friend. That friendship is a harvest. You have to sow the seed. So if I sit down and I find out that I love God, but there are no friends. As a lady, nobody likes me. As a guy, nobody likes me. The secret is that something about your life is creating an environment that is pungent to friendship. See that? When you lack helpers in your life, the Bible gives you a prescription. When you lack helpers in your life, I can tell you immediately there are things you are not doing. Among them, there is no prophecy on your life because destiny helpers don't come on their own. It is one aspect of your life that it is pure prophecy that calls them. Are we learning? How about fear? Living in fear. There are many of us we have used our words to program woes. Ladies, ah, it is not for us. We are not us. We are the we are the um uh, what they call that thing. We are the outcasts. We are the ones who our parents cannot this leave it to these people. And the Bible says, do not say before an angel, I made a mistake. We have programmed nonsense and rubbish. A name God did not call you. You have allowed yourself to be called it again and again. You called yourself ugly. There is nowhere in scripture where you are called ugly. You called yourself irresponsible. The word of God does not call you that way. Open my eyes. Help me believe. I am what you say. Hallelujah. So French. The Bible says, cast not away your confidence. Confidence is not pride. Uh -uh. Confidence is psychological stability that is on the strength of the truth you have found in scripture. That's confidence. Stability that is based on the truth of God's word. If you tell me, Apostle, I, I was passing across a shrine and I heard them talking about you, that they will kill you tomorrow. I'm going to sleep this night. I won't wake up and do any special prayer through the night of God. And it can't be joy. It's a joke. If you know the mysteries that keep this man standing. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. You surround yourself with mysteries like chariots. When the spirit of death knocks on your door, three scriptures come out like, like fire. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Number two, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long and that it shall be well with you. Number three, I set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing, I advise you and I chose it. Do you fight a man outside his will? Even God stands in the door of your heart and knocks. Why wouldn't Satan knock? Why wouldn't death knock? If God is knocking to enter. I don't know about you. The Bible says a man who has no control over his spirit is like a city without war. Anything that must enter my life, if God knocks to enter, nothing will enter on his own. It's my revelation. So when men say there is a casting down, they allowed it somewhere. For me, when it knocks, I say, get back. For me, there is a lifting up. See, I'm not just entertaining you. I'm showing you how the word of God makes a man wise. It constructs your understanding. The Bible says he daily loads me with benefit. I expect favor every day. Recycled after 24 hours. It's not because I'm a preacher. I expect it. I found it. I found thy word and I ate it. It was a joy and a rejoicing. The word was not written for preachers, brothers and sisters. It was written for those who can believe. My mother started learning these principles. And you would find that people would start calling. Take a bag of rice. Give your mother. Take this. Give your mother. Working for her. She's not a preacher. And it's not because she's my mother. It works for anybody. 
he said declare ye that he might be justified i will never say i am a failure no sir no sir no sir no sir just because there is no food in your room most believers will come guide this life self aluta continua victoria escata is a cause you are recite you are enchanting is the same thing as being given a charm in a herbalist shrine and you read it that's what we have been doing you come in and you see lack and insufficiency you declare while i look not at the things that are unseen but the things that are seen for the things that are seen are temporal subject to change but the things that are unseen i know that one day i will feed nations come on now you are going through times in your life you don't understand what is happening you don't give room to depression though he slay me yet will i trust him i know my redeemer lives Bible said Job did not curse God. The way we act is a revelation as to whether the word of God has worked in us. You go back and you meet friends. Ah, a mega, and then they say one kind of very devilish, poisonous, and vulgar word. You call a human being a dog, you call a human being, it used to be a joke, but now that you have the revelation. You lovingly say, no, I'm not a dog. I know exactly dogs in scripture are used to communicate Gentiles and people who are at the basest levels of life. I will not confess that. The Bible says he has made me a king and a priest. I remember when I was in secondary school, there's something they call Yabi. You know it. Where two people will sit down and look for very nasty expressions. Very vulgar descriptions of themselves the goal is for it to be funny so somebody usually there are a group of people who are like the referees i will say my own you'll be angry and say your own and then you know that's why people were not doing well notice people enter js1 and by the time they finish writing exams they come out the only thing they come out with is a good certificate common sense gone health gone they are sick they have troubles has not given me the spirit of fear the bible says i shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day in my world there's nothing like ember months he daily loads this is the day the lord has made he didn't say the lord and satan the lord alone made that day satan too was waiting for god to make the day it was god that made the day i rejoice in it and i am glad you will never see me frowning my face and you ask me why. I said, Kai, this world, Nigeria I said, no. He said, for with joy shall I draw. I've taught you this. Frustrate Satan by remaining joyful. He said, rejoice in the Lord, not in your results. If you rejoice in your results, the day you don't see it, you will not rejoice again. If you rejoice in your CGPA, your job, your new employment, I rejoice in the Lord eyes are on him regardless of the results my eyes are on him you pick a medical report and he looks at you he says the, the medical report says you have all kinds of lumps and all kinds of growth and the devil says that's it oh. in case you don't know the name is cancer it's just that it's forming come keep watching and you sit down and go online signs of cancer they say it starts like lumps hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you come and meet a maker and then he will confirm it to you he says it's true Go and drop that report and say lord if i die who will dance you are reducing the number of people who will praise you ask hezekiah isaiah went to him in chapter 38 and said hezekiah set your house in order hezekiah said nonsense i respect you you're a prophet of god but leave me and god shut the door hezekiah said god what did i hear you say remember your temple when you talk about the temple god listens so oh lord your house so oh. and he said no 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 please isaiah go back go back go back i think it was a prayer department i was i was um Yes, on Tuesday, I was rounding up their session with them and I told them something. I said, as a worker in this ministry, there are benefits that should be yours. They are not, they are not privileges, they are rights. As a worker, 
there are certain things that should be yours the bible said a worker is worthy the word worthy there is deserving of his wages not just a worker in koinonia a worker in the house of god the closest simile to wages is salary that means that there should be something that leaves heaven for me you have gotten your salary for being a civil servant of Nigeria. Have you gotten your salary for being a worker in the house of God? Is God speaking to you? The way I speak, the way I act, the way I understand is a revelation. When you look at your child and beat your child and kick your child and say you are you are an idiot, you are a stupid child, I don't know why you and your foolish mother, you are revealing something. The kicking is a revelation. It's a revelation that number one, you don't know that children come from God. Number two, you do not know that fatherhood is an office recognized in the realm of the spirit. There is a priesthood office that fatherhood has. The mother of Jabez was angry. She didn't know that motherhood is an office. And out of her anger, she named her child Jabez. Every time Jabez was to be good, that office cried in the realm of the spirit. And one day Jabez was angry and said, no, I can't continue like this. I can tell you more than half of Africans are carrying all kinds of tragedies that the office of father and mother provided out of anger. Your father looks at you and just says, look, it will not be well with you just because that time you were in the world and you stole his shoe or you stole a goat and went to go and sell it and he looked at you and in anger, he cursed you. He said, this is how you will be like a goat all through your life. And you would think it's a joke until you find out you put a goat side by side with the way you are behaving and you see that it's exactly the same true story i'm rounding up i know a gentleman that the mother cursed him and said until a rat stop stealing he will not stop stealing yes true story god is my witness he was a popular face that i knew this guy will come out of prison now as they are waving him signing in two weeks he's coming back again that prophecy secured the spirit of theft in his life comfortable the only thing that can set him free is the anointing you see the reason why we speak over people yes you speak over people to superimpose and veto the ordinances that have been communicated upon their lives. Listen, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that these are spiritual ordinances. Fatherhood and motherhood did not end with the Old Testament. In the New Testament, a man treats his wife bad and the Bible says his heavens will be closed. This is why many fathers are going through hard life in Nigeria. I'm telling you this. This attitude of treating mothers and treating women as if they are a piece of rag. You are a father here. Please I apologize. I have great respect for men. I'm one. I've been one all my life. So I, I don't in any way downplay men. But I want to be sincere with you. The way you treat your wife, not a woman, your wife, will determine whether your heavens will be close or not so you can labor you finish insulting your wife call her stupid woman you and all your five useless children you are going for the business meeting they call you when you are almost there and say sir just go back it won't work again you say what do you mean it won't work i just prepared my paper the heavens you always know when the heavens are closed because a forest becomes a fruitful vine and becomes a wilderness depletion from as they say from grace to grass close them that's why the Bible says until the spirit be poured upon us like rain from high then a wilderness will become a fruitful vine then a fruitful vine will be counted for a forest thank you hallelujah we're going to pray tonight and then I'm going to speak over your life I really believe in the power of prayer listen let me encourage you with these keys that i've shared with you i expect every wise young man 
whether you are staying with your parents or not or if if both of your parents have gone to be with the lord you have spiritual parents you have all kinds of representatives if i were you do something for your earthly parents that will provoke a blessing from them as you are going home now don't just go as a big man big man no money close heavens go and meet your parents mommy i don't have so much money but i made pepper soup for you i went round the city looking for bush meat that you like i found it ah really my daughter you mean bush meat okay god bless you ah mommy no i came with this one specially please pray for me what kept you and daddy for 50 years let that grace come your mother will look and say kneel down that's it i can guarantee you that prayer is not noise he said go and make me venison that i may bless you you don't bless without venison the foolishness of young people you stroll to anybody and they don't bless me you think it works like that was i was it just because he was hungry it's a principle honor your father and your mother i'm telling you this is some of us this is what will break this joblessness these problems some of us you just need to go back home and say mommy i'm sorry for five years i have given you a lot of headache you people don't even like seeing me but i want to tell you that i got connected to a ministry and god has changed my life i just want you to speak over my life i don't have much but i came with 100 naira recharge card they may have 10,000 naira in their phone but that 100 naira is what will open you up they will say kneel down let me tell you whether your father is a believer or not if he speaks to you it's an office it will open your destiny are we together back home and you see the people in your community loitering their life christmas is when people die from bike as a result of drinking they learn how to ride bike during christmas <laughs> until they die from it and you just sit down and say look three or four friends let's see what we can do one day small program somewhere at the back of one football field put one speaker and the rest organize something even if it's for the children Instead of our little children dancing all this devilish dance that they start spoiling the hearts of these small children, gather them. Let them, even if it's biscuit and zobo or something, you have done something noble for the kingdom. And then take God on Exodus chapter 23 verse 25. You shall obey and serve me and I will bless your bread and water. I will take sickness far away from you. There will not be barrenness in your life and your days I will prolong. Lord, I served you during this break. I come for the blessings that follow service. Are you ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. Hello, Himadonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be. spirit and seal the remaining part of this year seal the remaining part of this year go ahead and pray
pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray and say, Lord, if there is anything according to your predetermined counsel that I should experience for 2017 and is still lagging in my life, the remaining days that we have, I think we should have about 20, maybe about 16 more days. Am I right? 16 days is too much for God to do a fearful miracle. Open your mouth and release your faith. Move, oh God. Move, oh God. Shabakatoka sadabakatabaladaba. In 16 days, you can still confirm your word concerning my life. serious prayer right now most of us are going back maybe to spend a break with our loved ones or around I'd like you to pray when Jonah entered a boat people started weeping and losing everything because one man in disobedience was in the boat he made the boat unusually heavy and was about to capsize but when the act of God entered the house of a man called Obed Edom without prayer in 90 days three months everything changed I like you to pray and say Lord I am a living tabernacle as I go home or wherever it is that I'll be going to I represent your possibilities I represent the act of God go ahead and pray I go home to smash the works of darkness every activity of divination every activity of darkness over my loved ones in the name of Jesus as I step my feet I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost the heavens are open unto me In the name of Jesus, I challenge every force. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't be tired of praying. I want us to challenge three demonic forces over our family. Listen. One is the spirit of sickness and infirmity. Two, the spirit of poverty and hardship. Three, the spirit of death. Lift your voice and curse them. Lift your voice and curse them. In the name of Jesus, I represent the government of heaven over my life and my family. I command the spirit of death. Take your hands off my loved ones. There will be no sound of mourning. In the name of Jesus, pray. I come against necromancy. I come against manipulations of the consolations. 
to destroy the life of any one of my loved ones. They are covered. I lift the standard of the blood. I lift the standard of the blood. Shake it, take it, take it, take. I lift the standard of the blood. No death, not by accident, not by terrorism, not by plane crash. I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I cause sickness. We cause cancer. We cause arthritis. We cause hepatitis. We cause every killer disease. Every terminal disease. Take your hands off our loved ones. We cause the spirits of poverty and hardship. Stealing resources from our loved ones. Causing conflict in homes. Kaboto Sekete. Are you ready to pray? I like you to program favor that as I step out all through from now till January when I come back is going to be favor whether you have an uncle or not financial favor all kinds of open doors open your mouth and declare it create it I command favor in the name of Jesus I call for the help us for my family help us for my destiny Lord I receive I receive I receive all kinds of favor all kinds of favor favor men are rising men are rising in the name of Jesus favor hallelujah listen I want you to believe me we are rounding up but you see not many people in this life have truly encountered favor favor is an experience that happens once but the result continues without stop we are going to pray this prayer again listen the hardship in many of our families even salary will not cure it is that true there are some of us now if you get a job and you are giving your loved ones three three hundred thousand per month even after five years it will not solve the problem 15 people in the house only one person is working is earning twenty thousand that's a cost when i say favor i'm not saying look at your employer to give you one bag of rice or one of your rich uncle in america take your mind away from any man don't add faces. Your own is to just create with your words. Are you ready to pray? For me and for my family, Lord, surprise us. Surprise us before December 31st. Lord, do something that has not been done. A major dimension of favor. Pray. No matter what kind you have seen, provoke another. Provoke another. In the name of Jesus, I create it. I call it for. I call it for in my life. I call it for in this ministry. I call it for for my loved ones. I call it for strange favor between now and 31st December. Strange favor. Hallelujah.
we'll soon round up i'd like you to pray listen one of the major reasons why there is trouble in our homes is because someone there has not given his life to christ and therefore does not subscribe to the value system of the kingdom are you hearing what i'm saying now it is terrible to have someone in a family that does is has not given his life to christ or is not interested in being passionate especially if they have authority over you because they will force you to stay in their mode you pray for 30 minutes they say are you the first to be born again i have been born again i'd like you to pray two things lord massive encounters i like you to pray for your loved ones that don't know jesus lord this is this is the season they must encounter jesus lift your voice and pray i pray for my brother i pray for my sister i pray for my father i pray for my mother i pray for my uncle i pray for my step siblings pray pray tired of the challenges that their lack of encountering Christ is bringing to us financial troubles spiritual troubles they continue to become doorways and portals through which darkness comes in to destroy and invade give them an encounter give them visions give them dreams in the name of Jesus break their pride oh God give them solid encounters encounters with your power change them change them change them some of them have vowed that they will never give their life to Christ I like you to pray and say Lord in your majesty prove them wrong prove them wrong hallelujah one last prayer and then we're done for tonight listen all these prayer points i'm giving you when you go back pray them especially this prayer of salvation i can tell you this with the little experience i have counseling families 90 percent of the problem is that there is someone who is comfortably a gateway for satan to destroy people notice how satan does it in every family he must search for somebody one bad boy one bad girl or maybe our fathers our mothers everyone tries to press into God you just hear that police are calling you go to the police station they will tell you they've caught your brother stealing a laptop the bill is 400,000 and before you know it the money you have saved that's a devourer if there is nobody to speak in my family I can't speak what is happening my younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination my elder sister for years would not get admission things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order come on now i prophesy let there be order listen if there is nobody to speak in your family the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says i provoke another voice i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i come with the rod of a higher priesthood hallelujah please sit down for a moment we are soon going to stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to working in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point 
that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father or mother question neither father or mother that means could not be affected by any ancestry are you getting my point melchizedek a man who came that was the similitude of the christ that was why it was melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed abraham he said abraham you don't know who is blessing you but you come blessed be abraham possessor of he says son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft called all of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called Mel melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come i'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet i'm a king and still i am a priest he said melchizedek from today possess the heavens i mean abraham possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of abraham are you getting my point and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the habalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come Go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came. 
tonight I want you to believe Jesus told us something he said as my father has sent me with the same assignment and the same equipping let's look at that scripture oh hallelujah 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 come on just pray in tongues for one minute something just entered my spirit as my father has sent me with the same equipping with the same equipping john 20 john 20 John 20. Ah! Goodness. John 20. Are you there? Then said Jesus to them, Listen, peace be to you, as my Father has sent me. He said, Even so, send I you. So he showed us the very next verse how the Father sent him. That means he equipped me. The Father did something to me. And I'm about to do the same thing to you. And it will make you do the works that he did. Watch this. 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. He said, this is the secret. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. I transfer the ministry of the Holy Spirit from me to you. Let him walk with you. And you will do wonders. You will suddenly become a priest. You will suddenly become a king. The same way I set men free. He will empower you. And you will set men free. The same way I spoke. And it came to pass. Now the same way the Holy Ghost walked with me. This was my secret. Receive ye. Receive. That means you can reject him. He said receive. Don't reject him. Receive. When he comes to you. Receive. His presence makes you become like Jesus. It's not about praying in tongues is more than praying in tongues you receive him you can reject him jesus said when he comes receive receive don't reject many people have been rejecting him you are praying in tongues but you've been rejecting him tonight receive him receive him receive his ministry jesus said when he comes receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well and I know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the Holy Ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension I've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the Holy Ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life 
I've not done anything wrong. What you need is an appointment by prophecy. The Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. We are going to pray. The Lord has showed me of his presence in a mighty way to heal, especially for the sick. You must get angry this night and say, Lord, I'm not going back with that situation. See, don't get too used to it. The same way you receive the Holy Spirit, reject certain things. Hallelujah. Let me show you one scripture. Back to our text, John 9. Let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive. John chapter 9. While I was reading today, I had to stop and say, Goodness. So this thing did not start now. Two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive. Number one, 9 verse 16. Listen to what happened. We have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive. John 9 verse 16. Are you ready? Read. Therefore, said some of the Pharisees, okay, this man is, this is Jesus they are talking about. Are you getting my point now? They saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle. They saw this man getting blessed. And now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working. What kind of power is it? There are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that God is doing. And probably you just came to watch and see. Let me verify for myself. Look at it. It didn't just start today. Satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that God has asked them to do. He said, this man is not of God because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. What kind of silly excuse is that? Look at the excuse they were bringing. Those people lose their cattle. They lose their cattle. Be careful. Lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say, are miracles really real? Do people really get healed? Is it true? It's a big shame that when people are healed, we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power. So we agree that witches and wizards can heal. And then we are saying the Lord of glory cannot heal. Verse 18. Oh, oh, oh. But the Jews did not do what? The Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind. That's another thing. So you either say the man of God is not a genuine man of God or the miracle that happened is not genuine. That's what they said. They said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents. So you can watch people, SS genotype, in your presence chain and you say there's no way. I'm studying medicine or I'm a doctor. This thing cannot happen. Or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called Sadiq Ibrahim? I never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came. He came to give... Some of you were around that miracle service. This guy was a terrorist. He was a terrorist. He was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence. And he came, was dying of HIV, right? Dying of tuberculosis. He had slept in the grave three days. He said he could enter a church 
and look at a man of God and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of God will just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as I came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or God's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship hallelujah lord jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only god that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like i see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission 
maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i Prophesy. Is there anything to what for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I, I am, am that I am. I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of miracles. Oh, oh, oh. him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship him Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Emmanuel, 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God? Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this road let me have the people outside thank you Jesus one two three let the power of God move right now right now Ena na nena sitanya, shaba nena sena riani. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost, Emmanuel? His name is God, Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bringer, no 
devil will stop her. Your name is God. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is God. Yeah, Emmanuel. Lord, your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, his name is called. His name is God, Emmanuel, he is called, Emmanuel, hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost as you shout three the power of God will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I cause powers every wicked power every demon every activity of darkness I cause you now 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 every act of witchcraft by the fire of the Holy Ghost you come under the judgment of God inside and outside right now let the power of God bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness I see a number of angels you're going to shout Jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you Jesus are you ready now those outside I see the power of God like files of fire one two at the count of three shout Jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now, out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just fine. It's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Her, she will come now quickly I call you Lord most high. don't touch her she will come by herself Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now thank you Jesus I bring you liberty be free now in Jesus name she's free name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister to them. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight Esther who is Deborah 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 you are outside that Deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots Deborah come Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look, guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel Gabriel who is Gabriel Gabriel please just save time when I mention your case Gabriel Gabriel is outside outside 
the Lord is ministering to me outside Gabriel you are is it outside yes Gabriel is outside you are Gabriel you are outside hallelujah come my dear what is wrong with you I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically look come come up look at this girl look at her you will know that this girl doesn't look healthy you don't even know what and the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood this is how somebody just gets up and just dies What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, Kai, come, 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 come. You must be set free now. Hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out now. Blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now praise the lord i'm going to pray for you who is having serious abdominal pain you're having pain just your stomach region here very seriously one of you here because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You, we pray for you. But, but that's that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? You will be healed now. Thank you, Jesus. I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your stomach. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for all of these people. As I lay hands on you, it doesn't matter what the situation is. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ, walk into the blessings and the promises of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free. In the name of the Lord Jesus um the lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's there's, there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for God to set you free. Don't worry. If there are still more people you can connect, I'm just telling you the one that God is showing you. I don't care what it is. We sang that God will set you free. Please don't come out here to try God. It will leave. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please, those with peptic ulcers, just get ready. All kinds of ulcers. We're going to pray for you now. Please make sure it's, it's only skin infection. Only skin infection. Hold my hands, madam. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Be free now. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. As I pray for you, just go back to your seat. Oh, the power of God is strong on my hands. Be free now in the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Let him go. I set you free. Be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names. Hold my hands. Look at me. Look at me. I'm seeing you tied. Not only are you, I pray that God will visit you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. Visit your people, oh God. These are the ones that you died for. Look how many people are inflicted by ulcers. I'll pray for you very quickly. Please, I want you to believe as I lay my hands on, on you. The power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out! Come out of her! Now! In the name of Jesus. Out! Out of her! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. The name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ he's able bring the lady shout in there Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God he's able. able. God is able. God. Command that spirit of infirmity. Leave her right now. Never to return. Be free now. In Jesus' name. Complete freedom. showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother 
someone's mother lying down the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you who went to shika and came back shika and came back because this person i'm seeing they took the person to shika and brought the person back you my mother has one being shika she went to shika what are you people coming out for why is the man insisting that is the one what is it you came from shika you are coming from shika what's wrong with you this one is a woman who is not you but anyway what's the situation but it's a, no 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 what what just straight to the point what happened my body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like move i want to fall this is the spirit of death now you would have died before today hold my hands i want to pray with you you'll be free now thank you jesus i set you free in the name of the lord jesus christ what couldn't you do before Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I pray for you. Just just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabi, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at this is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg. I don't know if it's a if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one. Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually play football. You're a footballer. I had a fracture for eight months you have a fracture now on the leg there is a fracture is it true please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here look at me watch yourself get healed now come don't close your eyes open your eyes thank you jesus christ Aya. the holy spirit young Gicho wrote a book he said the holy spirit my senior partner watch what happens to this guy now my brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at. See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture. Fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for an onion. See. Let's go. There's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 come. Don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the. No, no, no. You don't need to lift your. Just that point. 
the joints here. Yeah? How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that, you woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or I should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself. Check. Honestly. Check yourself. Look at it. The power of God is moving strongly. Check. Check. Do you feel any pain? You feel any? No pain is. She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. That devil has gone never to return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now. Someone you have a hole, you used to have a hole in your teeth. Check it now. You will not see that hole there. Please check it and come out. This is a miracle that has just happened now. Please, I'm going to start praying in mass for people, but you will be very surprised. When when that happens to you, just come out quickly. The Lord showed once God shows me something, He has done it. Please check yourself. Check yourself. We are not faking this thing here. Make sure you check yourself. You will be very surprised. To find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I call. Why is he out? Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want you to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions 
heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who and is preparing to go to india what is preparing to go to india for surgery what of you yes sir what of you 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 have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation oh. doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Ogasa, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she is so it's a, you don't use stethoscope you can hear it so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection. In the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke. As I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some. Okay, you're that too of stroke. Because immediately I had I held your hand. I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah now i'm going to pray for you please follow me guys Hallelujah. most marital delays are demonic in nature and we're going to arrest it right now you can stand in for yourself you can stand in for your loved ones please lift your hands everybody you'll be amazed at what will happen right now everyone please lift your hands you can stand for yourself you can connect hallelujah at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus father i pray that as they shout that name every every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus I arrest it I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost was he going to shout that name over this case the Lord is not done yet lift your hands again I want you to shout it at the top of your voice and as you shout that name the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado God is visiting situations right now thank you Jesus one shake it two get ready now get ready with your hands lifted three be released now be released now be released now i command chains chains marital chains be broken by the power of the holy ghost i command chains be broken in the name of jesus be broken in the name of Jesus be broken let marital doors open in the name of Jesus I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the Bible says seek out of the book and read it said none of this shall fail none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus and i prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that god has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah now i'm going to pray for all sick people especially those who have come from everywhere while you come out do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life whatever the situation is I'm going to lay hands on every one of you and as I lay that hands upon you hallelujah I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life whatever the situation is hallelujah worship team lead us in a powerful moment of worship hallelujah Lord we give you the praise thank you for healing in the name of Jesus those of you who are sitting please write your prayer requests once you are done just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly my God is awesome. in the name of Jesus Christ heal now heal now in the name of Jesus Christ hide me from the rain I cause everything that is not of God my God out my God is awesome. heal now 
the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now. I am that I am. Can you be healed in the name of Jesus Christ? Let it be healed. Too hard for me to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am that I am. Look aside. Be healed now. That's it. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. I am that I am. Hey, is there anything too hard for me? Job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. 
in the name that is above all names I pray may the Lord give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus I speak it and I prophesy it may my God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus as you are lifting up that hands let an anointing come upon that hand keep it lifted please that hand that is lifted I pray let an anointing come upon it the oil of gladness that sets you above your equals receive it in the name of Jesus everywhere you have submitted your CV I pray may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem against Israel I command right now let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive if you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a God that answers prayers here hallelujah this is the second time God is giving me this instruction usually we just pray on it and once we are done here but this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night there is a God that answers prayers and Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar he said Lord behold their threatenings hallelujah praise the Lord now we're going to pray hallelujah these requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of God can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of God will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth I want you to know that within these few minutes I want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of God will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus we're going to pray Pastor Alpha come Femi come Benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony 
Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand. Those who are visiting with us, all those who are who came from outside Zaria, please come out. I'll minister to you now. I want you to come out expecting the Lord. There are so many people who have come from different places. Please just come out. Sit up. I'll pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from Kogi state eddie from joss Lunging from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. In the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. Your faith. Take an anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing with you in the name of Jesus to your locality. Do mighty things for the kingdom. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take this 
this anointing. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains. Be open now. Visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams 
visions. So potopate. I command leadership mantles. Leadership mantles. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Strong leadership mantles. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Stop la cambre de gelaba. I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible. In the name of the Lord Jesus, at the count of three, different gifts will be activated in people right now. One, two, three, receive it. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy, tongues, interpretation of tongues. Take it now. I activate the full power of the spirit. I activate it inside and outside. Take it. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power. Receive it. Receive it. Gifts of healing. Word of knowledge. Gifts of prophecy. It will come like fire. It will come like fire. It will burn you. It will come like fire. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Two of you hold your hands. Hold your hand. Take it now. Take it now. I activate the gifts of the spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Every apostolic ministry. Take the fire. Every prophetic ministry. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Hallelujah. There are many of you who are kingdom financiers, financial apostles. Everyone will be blessed, but there are specific people. Lift your hands. My God, I pray that these people let an unction. My God, my God, my God, my God, take it. Financial dominion by the power. Help them, help them, help them. Take it. Ideas. I activate it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Financial apostles, arise. Arise. Take the kingdom. Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now 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 I pray right now 
every opportunity you have lost i don't care what it is i prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor I command favor in the name of Jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of Jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of Ezekiel hear ye the word of the Lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage I come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the Lord come alive now Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. I prophesy that by the next miracle service, you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you. Every ministry, every fellowship, every group every church every assembly represented here i pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing I command ministry grow church grow in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord we give you the praise I'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time 
you've never made jesus lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a christian but you've never truly declared the lordship of christ i'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you're making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and god gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming god bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you jesus hallelujah i salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem i want you to say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood to set me free i receive that freedom tonight and i receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of jesus from today i declare that i'm born again i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me i make up my mind to live for jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the lord jesus may your christian experience be authentic in the name of the lord jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace you always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus 
thank you again for coming. We love you and we celebrate you. Now, we'd just like you to follow the ushers, that gentleman waving his hands, and they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.